Hi guys, my name is Christine and I'm a dating, relationship and personal development coach. And today I'm talking about what will happen when your ex misses you. So the big thing that will happen if your ex misses you is they will reach out to you, right? They'll reach out to you by messaging you or phoning you up, okay? Them adding you on social media, them refollowing you on social media, them liking your posts, them watching their your stories, you know, those aren't indications that they are going to get, they, those are not strong indications basically that they miss you because, you know, they might be just following you again, they might be just watching your stories because they're curious about you and want to see what you're up to, perhaps they want to do a bit of spying on you for whatever reason, right, maybe it makes them feel good about themselves, so who knows, right. Um, so the best indication that your ex misses you is if they privately message you so it's a message that only you can see not a comment on like a post that you've made but a private message to you or they phone you up okay so this um was something that i noticed when an ex wanted to get back with me so um we'd been broken up for a, a few months and um they had unfriended me on facebook and then suddenly a few months later they added me as a friend again and then they messaged me like they said hey how are you and um, it almost got to a point where we almost met up again, but I kind of came to my senses and realized how bad that relationship was and um, <clears throat> how I didn't really like them that much because I didn't really, basically the, the problem that I had with them was that they had uh, issues with lying and um, they made up a lot of things about their life. They was kind of like a compulsive liar and things and it was um, kind of a weird situation for me and I didn't feel comfortable with it basically. But it did get to a point where she did actually, you know, re-add me as a friend on Facebook and reach out to me. And we almost met up again. Um, and I could have easily seen myself slipping back to an old habit of, you know, uh, you know, going, going back with her and being in a relationship again for a few months and then ending again and things like that. So that's how I sort of knew that she wanted to get back with me. I could tell that she missed me by the fact that she was reaching out to me and it was so easy to make plans with her to meet up, right? So that's something that you need to really think about. And I think that's the most clearest indication that an ex wants to get back with you, right? Obviously for you, you know, you might want to actually get back with that ex. You know, I was debating it when that happened to me. Um, but then I realized how bad it was and how much I did, really didn't like their personality. So um, it made me kind of second guess, like, mm, you know, maybe that's not, a, this is not a good decision. And then I decided to not follow through with that sort of thing. Um, so, you know, that's the best indication that your ex misses you and wants to get back with you. So another thing, though, that I want to talk about is that the wording is really important, right? And so if, they, if your ex does message you, the wording for that message or what they say in their phone call really matters, right? And what I mean by that is, is that it's more of a positive thing if they're just inquiring about you, like, hey, it's just saying something like, hey, how are you? What have you been up to? Something like that. They may not come right out and say, I miss you. I want to get back with you, right? They, they probably won't do that, right? They may do, but it'd be very, it's a very rare occasion. A lot of people like to test the waters and be like, hey, how are you doing? You know, something like that, right? And, um... But if they're, but again, like the wording is important because if they're saying something like, hey, can I come and collect my stuff? That's about finalizing the relationship, right? It's not about getting back with you and things. If you've got kids together or something, they may, they may reach out to you and be like, oh, Johnny forgot his t-shirt at school. Can you go and pick it up, right? That's not, that's got nothing to do with, hey, how are you? What you've been up to? Inquiring about you they're talking about the kids and it's a message about the kids. So you shouldn't assume that that means that they miss you if they're reaching out to you about stuff like that. Or it may be the, the case that they're messaging you because you've got a mortgage together and they need to meet you at the solicitors or whatever it may be, you know. So if it's about finalizing the relationship or it's about the kids, then you shouldn't take that as a serious indication that they miss you. It's only when they're inquiring about you, asking how you are, and solely you because I know some exes may say hey how are you if you've got kids together as like the way that you just say things to people you know like when you message <clears throat> um let's say when you message like someone who you go to work with 
you know, you're, you're emailing them about work, you start off the email by saying, hey, how are you? Because it's a polite thing to say. But it depends what follows on after that, right? So with an ex it, that misses you, they would just be asking about you. They'd just be saying, hey, how are you? What have you been up to, right? An ex that you may have kids with or other underlying issues, you know, things that underlying things that you need to sort out, like a mortgage or kids or something like that, or go, hey, how are you? And then suddenly go on to what they really want to talk about. They don't, they're not inquiring about you or anything like that. Again, the wording is really, really important. So if they're solely inquiring about you, what you've been up to, wanted to know about you, then that's a good positive sign. But if they're saying, hey, how are you? Then following it with, can you come and pick up Jimmy? Then it's more about you picking up Jimmy than the, hey, how are you? Okay. Um, and also if they just say something like, can you come and collect your stuff? Right. That's about finalizing the relationship. Right. So the wording is extremely important when they call you up, when they message you. Obviously, it depends on your individual circumstances. Right. So when this kind of thing happens, you need to ask yourself and you need to be really truthful with yourself with, okay, so they're messaging me. Let's assume that they're messaging you because they do miss you, but do you want them back, right? Now, usually when this sort of thing happens and um, they, you know, the couple get back together, usually it ends within a few months after that initial breakup, all right? And this happened with um, my other ex, right? I got back with them after they cheated on me. But it's still, you know, a few months later, it's still ended. And I kind of went back for the wrong reasons. I went back because of nostalgia, because um, sometimes it was really fun to be around them and things. And that's why I went back, right? I was kind of looking at it with rosy colored glasses instead of thinking about the pain and the upset, right? Um, but then it still ended anyway. I still broke, I, I broke up with them again, a f- you know, a few months down the line anyway, because <clears throat> things didn't change. So you got to look back on the relationship, right? And think, how did I feel towards the end of this relationship? Was I even thinking and considering breaking up with them too, right? And thinking about that sort of stuff, thinking about the painful stuff and not looking back at the relationship with nostalgia, right? Because more than likely, if you get back into that relationship, things aren't going to change. Things are probably still going to be the same as what they were when you were together. And you're going to fall back into those old habits. And, you know, it may be the case that things end anyway. Okay. So you need to really think, do I even want to get back with this person? Or is there a possibility that there's someone out there better for me? And most of the time, in fact, there's always someone out there who's better for you, right? Always, right? So I can guarantee that you will find someone better than your ex, okay? But you've got to put yourself out there, right? You have to, you know, get through the numbers. You, you might be the case that you have to go on like 20 or 30 dates in order to find someone who is a really good match for you, right? So that's just something that you want to consider as well. But do you even want to get back with them? You know, really think about the, the, the bad things of that relationship. Don't just look on the relationship with nostalgia because that's what usually happens when a breakup happens, you know, even when the breakup was really bad, you still look back on it sometimes with nostalgia and that's what makes you them, you, you miss them and it may even make them miss you and you get back together, but the things are still the same and then it just ends anyway. So basically, you know, do you want to waste your time getting back with someone who it's probably going to end with anyway? Because nine times out of 10, it's probably going to end anyway if you do get back together because Rarely people change. Like you might be someone who is willing to change. That's why you're watching sort of like a self-help video like this one, right? A coaching video, like you're open to change, but your ex probably isn't, right? And most people aren't willing to change themselves and to improve themselves. And you've got to remember that, right? You've got to, you've got to think, you've got to always assume that the person that you're with or your ex is always going to be the same, right? The person that you're with is probably always going to be the same. Your ex is probably always going to be the same. It's very unlikely that they're going to change. And you can't fall in love with their potential. You just have to live from the place of this person is probably always going to be the person that they are. And can I handle that, right? Can I deal with that? Or should I find someone who is better for me, right? And nine times out of 10, it's best to find someone else and to let the ex go. So that's my thoughts on that and what your ex will do if they miss you. And that is, they'll reach out, they'll message you. 
So thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to get in touch with me personally and you'd like coaching with me, then please go to www.christineloverish.com. Thank you so much for watching. I shall talk to you again very soon. Goodbye.